Hello everyone, my name is Clantus and welcome to the Clantus. So without further ado, let's get into this video. But before we get into this uh, video, please do me a favor by smashing the like button. Guys, I want to thank you so much for always clicking the like button because guys, it is doing a lot. I'm telling you, we are at 17,000 subscribers. Uh, I apologize. You are not subscribers. You are the honorable members of the clan and I want to welcome everybody that is new to this family. Guys, when you come here, you come with your two IQs, you rub them together and you spark your own opinion and speculation about whatever is going on in the knockout high court in court Rata's what? What am I saying? In Rata's courtroom. But other than that, guys, I don't want to waste too much of your time. So this is the self-appointed experts comment section. So basically, this is a, seg a segment where I read your comments from the previous video. And why do we call ourselves the self-appointed expert? Is because once upon a time, Judge Rata said, I don't know if he was being sarcastic towards the defense, and said some self-appointed experts pointing. And then we're like, yeah, he's talking about us, YouTubers. So, hey, let's embrace the self-appointed expert label and kill off the insult and embrace it. And today we call ourselves the self-appointed expert. But this particular segment has everything to do with your comment because you are the self-appointed expert just as much as I am the self-appointed expert. I hope you understand what all of this means. This is to you, honorable clan members that are new on this family. Other than that, guys, let me get myself comfortable. I have here with me finally something to drink whenever my throat is actually giving me problems because this coughing thing, it doesn't want to go away. It reminds me when I had Kovovo. Kovovo would just not go away. I would have something as if it's tickling my throat and then my lungs will, when it contracts, it will squeeze out some water that will come out through my mouth and I'm thinking, ooh, the ocean that's going on in there, <laughs> maybe it's the one that's going to drown me. But other than that, here we are and we thank the high mighty for being here and anyways guys let's get to your comment section and let me get myself a little bit comfortable and the first one is from auntie ck moyo what's up in my opinion baloya ruined his own reputation <laughs> absolutely possibly his own career too his previous cases need to be revisited investigated like thoroughly that is my opinion as well then we have Jose who says, Hi clan, it's shamefully to continuously see Jan van Rata and voice change by <laughs> clearly cooking this case in broad daylight in the presence of everybody. The accused, the judge, the defense, and everybody else that's watching, like right there, like I don't care. Maniwa, maniwa. <laughs> hey, that's what we are witnessing. Where JP Mlambo, oh, where's JP Mlambo? Can I ask that again? Where is the Judiciary uh, Judiciary con Council? <clears throat> Apparently, those are triggered by a complaint. Where's uh, CJ Zondo? Apparently, he also gets triggered by whatever is made an application to him. But other than that, you're asking very, very valid questions because there's no way that they don't hear or at least have a conversation amongst themselves about what's going on out there. The people of South Africa, this is the citizens of the country. They are making a noise. You can't tell me they can't hear that noise. I get that they should close their mouth, their ears, eyes, and all of that, but they're still human beings. Then we have a user who says, this judge is indeed dishonest. I think I saw who's, I forgot who it was. I'm so sorry. It's just that your handle is user. It doesn't have your name. So, uh, so is Baloi. This is very bad for our justice system. Dishonesty, right there. Advocate Mshololo was correct in pointing this out. Very correct. I was like, thank you, ma'am. Finally, you know. And then we have another user who says all the so-called evidence by Baloi has nothing to do with this case. Absolutely nothing. Dear Rata, you know how we saw that this case had absolutely nothing to do with the case in point? When we have the entire police force on the stand testifying 
They messed up this case and they still come on the stand and make a total fools of South Africans. And yet the people, the eyewitnesses, the people that saw what happened, where are they? We only had three. We need four more. Why are they being protected? But we're only having officers and one of them sits in court, listens to what to go and amend and submit as new evidence. Sis. Dear Rada, next sitting of the court, the state is going to pre uh, present a Mayando. <laughs> and the color of it and how I wear it. And when in order to prove they cooked case in this case, mothers, well, they end up doing that. Honestly speaking. Then we have Elliot who says, uh, a Gauteng Judge President Honorable Mlambo should intervene and remove Judge Rata. The man is a disappointment to South Africa. But, you know, as I was reading some of these rules and the laws, how a judge is removed, da 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 da, um, the Judge President can't do anything at this point because it's a matter that is already, you know, ongoing. The only time he can do anything is at the end when Judge Rata has made a verdict and then he sits down and he reviews this finding or something like that. Unless there is a complaint that is submitted to the Judicial Com uh, uh, Service Commission, like how the petition is headed there, as well as the open letter, even though it was uh, directed at uh, Mr. Mlambo, but the petition is going to the JSC which is the correct platform, in order for the JSC to say, hey, we have a complaint from the public about a certain judge. <coughs> so many of you guys have been signing this petition. I have placed it all over the place on my channel, the community tab, on some of the videos. If you have not signed it, it's there. Then we have Salvin who says it's time that the judge got these Weber gibbers into order. This is uh, frustrating to comprehend, honestly speaking. The state has to prove themselves the, to prove them guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, yes. How and what uh fib they or fib they used to detain them, we uh, oh we go back and forth. What trial is this? Is that again? Somebody advise me, please. We all need somebody to sit us down and say, okay, let me educate you. But in educating us, they must not make a fool of us. Like I was, I accidentally sat down, and it wasn't an accident. I had gone to a particular office uh, this afternoon. Uh, I had gone to do something. So they had the television screen on. And then uh, I can't remember which uh, news channel that had a guest who was a lawyer. And in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, yeah. and they were comparing. I don't know if they were comparing, but it sounded like they were comparing the AKA and Tibbs, um, what do you call this, whatever is going on in the in the Durban Magistrates Court and the Senzo Mayewa. And then in my mind, I'm like, but then these are two different things. One is a trial and one is a hearing for bail. What's happening? But at the end, I was listening attentively. This so I don't want to say so called lawyer, I don't know him, but this lawyer did not contribute anything. I, I was like, I am still lost, sir. In fact, I was more lost than ever. So that is why sometimes I feel like, uh, if you're not going to call a gutsy and somebody that is brave of a legal expert by these news channel channels and actually say things as he they see it. But they're going about the bushes. I get it that they also don't want to uh, jeopardize their chances of getting appointed as judges at some point. So now this beating about the bushes, you are actually confusing the public even more than ever. Just say, is this trial going according? Is this judge uh, a fair judge? Instead of saying, oh, he's doing all that. He can. I was like, oh, you know what? I'm disinterested. I'm not going to listen to this. So I can't remember what um, news channel that was. It could be the one that is problematic. Then we have uh, Delhi who says today was a brilliant combination of defensing. Oh, they were beautiful. Uh, in court, if they continue like this, we will see the way forward. Absolutely. And we are seeing a very clear picture when they're working together. I love that.
I love that. And I commend it. Please, guys, continue doing that. Elizabeth saying, in a normal court, this case would have been thrown out long ago, right the moment the judge heard that the crime scene was tampered with. This case would have ended there. Okay, maybe if you're a curious judge or Tandine Daba, you know, nosy, then you should listen. And he did listen until you get to the DNA and the DNA says they were not there. That's when you're supposed to have said, hey, listen, Mr. Baloy, apply for section, is it 116? Well, what section is that one where the, the state, when they don't have a case, they apply and then it's dissolved and then the case is thrown out. Please remind me of the section in the Criminal Procedure Act. I, my phones are on the charger, so I can't get through my rabbit hole. Please help me with that section. Then we have Naniki who says Rata got a scare when he heard that South Africans are petitioning his ugly conduct in court. My goodness. Did he, was he not a judge today? Like an adjudicator. Like listening. You know, he was listening. And there, was a, there were parts when Gomezulu went in. When there were parts where Advocate Mshololo went in. Those ends where he would have, you would have literally stood up and said, I'm the judge and I make the decision, I overrule you. But no, he was a judge adjudicating and listening to the defense as well as the state. What was so difficult all this time to do that? I don't understand, judge. You were a judge. But then again, sometimes you do this, you throw this bone at us and we all like, oh wow, look at Rata. He's a... And some people are like, you guys get fooled by Rata way too quickly. I'm one of those. I do admit. And then he disappoints you. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Kelly Basic who says, um, Gomez Zulu is right. The state just deviated from the 26th of October, 2014. It's no longer about censor and justice. True, true. It's about the accused versus the police. You know, if you had a mic, uh, Kelly, you should have dropped it. Because this is this whole thing is about the police who messed up this case. Now I want to pin the responsibility onto people who were not at the Kumalo house on the 26th of October, 2014. Period. Bam, sis. Oh, bro. Seriously. Joseph says, Mgomezulu have said it a long time ago that the state doesn't have a case here. State doesn't know what to do now. Well done, clan. Thank you so much. And yeah, even the clan, the moment, I think, when was it when we realized that there's no case here? Oh yeah, the crime scene. Especially when the uncle of Kelly Kumalo was the one that was guarding the scene. That's when we, real, we all said it here on the clan. Nah, there's no case here. Even if, let's say, these guys did kill Senzo Meiwa, with a crime scene like that, that was how it was described, they should have long walked away from this long time ago. And that is when I started saying, I don't think the Meiwas will ever get justice for the death of their loved one. Never. Because of the crime scene. And I still think the same thing. Which, even all Kelly, when they came, the 375, the crime scene is still tampered with. Uh, Kelly's uncle is still the person that guarded the crime scene. Mapir is still cleaned and removed evidence. All of those stuff. That is why I feel like in as much as we want justice and we do want justice for Senzo Mewa, but what court or what judge is going to convict on the basis of a tempered crime scene? It's sad. Honestly speaking. Then we have another user who says, Don't worry, clan. Baloy has uh, not been sleeping since his first uh, some, uh, advocate Michelle Lolo in this court. He cannot just fantasize enough about that beautiful girl. <laughs> he tried everything in his book to trick uh, uh, of his tricks, but failed. The only option left for Baloy was to send a love letter at midnight. <laughs> Your metaphors. <laughs> metaphors simile, you, you, basically your figures of speech are the ones that i'm enjoying uh still the girl advocate had none of it 
this morning your she was not having it what a name um shololo baloy was left with an egg on his face definitely and he keeps denying he, on tuesday he said i have all the documents i'm going to submit all remember we said the operative word was all now why today we are having bits and bits and pieces hi in gag i'm afraid to know and what's up with this disc what hap whatever happened to usbs whatever happened to email whatever happened oh gosh are we living in 1990 come on guys no baloy no then we have Tando who say on oh, Dando. Then we have Dando who says, so these people did not learn anything from Pete Falyun. Awa, Advocate Baloy. Ah, by the way, who was Pete Falyun? It sounds so familiar to me. I'll check it out. Don't worry. I'll check it out. Then we have Tubo who says Rata is a crook, allegedly. <laughs> I don't trust him either. I, I don't trust him at all. I'm sorry. I don't trust him. Then we have Tebuko who says all the cases of Baloy and Rata must be reviewed. Investigated. <laughs> reviewed and an investigation ensues from there. I agree with you. Rat okay, then we have uh, Matabo who says Rata is a crook indeed. Allegedly. <laughs> Proudly South African says Baloy, Baloy, Baloy. Please confess, you still have the chance to save your steamer. <laughs> Dignity. Uh, put Kininda under the bars once and for all. Confess. <laughs> Do you think you would? <laughs> then we have Bending who says, guys, what I heard this morning coming from this judge was that he's available to, uh, during two weeks postponement of this case and he's offering his assistance to the defense about the submission of those documents i was like hogwash sir hogwash i don't believe that for us since when when are you want to help the defense since when you didn't wake up this morning and say ah oh, fresh air oh yeah let me go and help the defense this time around i think he is just playing on us because we've been accusing him of favoring the state so he's coming nine months later to say no i'm doing a favor to the defense i'm giving them time to do whatever they need to do the next two weeks i have no problem i will still be at the chambers for the next two weeks because i don't want the judge president to think that i'm playing golf when i'm working from home no we don't believe you sir i don't trust you let me put it that way the defense mustn't admit because uh, he noticed that Baloy's state is crumbling down. What a sneaky, sneaky judge. No, he's very sneaky because he wants to us to change the narrative. Oh, he's trying to change the narrative that he favors the state. I know. Sorry. Too late. Nine months too late. Literally, we could... Ha okay, let me not say something like that. Uh, I'm not going to say something like that. Z says, bravo, defense team. Me too. I'm saying the same thing. Bravo, guys. Bravo. Please keep it united. Boom, banani the way you have this, this pure week. What is it? Since last week, I've been impressed with all of y'all. Very impressed. And then we have uh, Noniko who says 229, oh, 229 views, 79 likes. Please, let's like the video. Yeah, well, I don't know how far we are now, but uh, you guys are doing really, really well. Or with the likes so let's keep doing the likes a thousand is basically the goal every video just a thousand i know it should be more but i'm just saying you know when you watch it takes a millisecond to go like and that's it let's continue then we have uh charles i'm just gonna say charles because um the handle is not quite clear the judge reaction is my main concern today has clearly shown that the judge is biased I thought he would rise to the occasion and reprimand the state. The opportunity was right there to basically say to Mr. Baloy, you made a fool out of me earlier in this trial. I told the defense 
that you would not jeopardize your career by withholding discoveries. He lost the opportunity. A lost opportunity to uh, to clear his uh, tardive CV. Yeah, lost opportunity. Hey, the clan. Then we have Julia who says defense, 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 defense several times. Lawyers, they are working together in one very nice, wow, I love this, loved it too. Defense, defense, that's great. I love them, I love them. Auntie CK Moyo who says today was lit. The disrespect for the defense ended now. What was so difficult? in treating Advocate Misholo the way he did today. What was so difficult for him to treat uh, Ngumalo the way he did today? What was so difficult for him to treat Mnisi the way he did today? What was so difficult in him treating Ramusipili the way he did today? What was so difficult in treating Mr. Mgomezulu the way he did today? You know, when you are cooking and then your broth becomes spoiled, and then you look to the next part and like, oh, that looks good. Let me jump over. No, it's too late, sir. Stick to your rotten broth. Nelly says, Baloy is delaying the trial deliberately. I believe so, too. He is in, you know, these, these delays and this postponement, they work in his favor. One way or the other. And he reverse psychology. The, the defenses say, they are the ones who need the time. When... He's the one who's submitting things at the 11th hour. Of course, they're going to need the time to read through, peruse through, and then from there, they consult. Why? Because he's busy in the kitchen. I suga. Defense should have suggested a next, uh, their next witness. Um, they, They're ready. They want to pin this man against the wall. But he's also coming with clever moves on the defense. By making sure that the judge gives him what he wants, but blame it on the defense. We see it. Then we have another user who says, Advocate Mshololo said, I was never told not to sleep. That was funny. <laughs> Then we have another user who's laughing and saying, Client Baloy sending love letters at 11. At 11 p.m., the governing party must call him to order since his greatest supporter, hero and, and protector, Grandfather Rata. I am the judge. Keeps on defending him. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. Then we have uh, uh, Mr. Lover. Mr. Lover, Lover. The state case is crumbling. Hey, guys, the state case died a long time time ago it's under the ground and it has become an ancestor a very bad ancestor for that matter because it keeps haunting the current um life when 375 is supposed to be having its glorious day in court but no 363 underground is able to withhold 375 as a matter of fact it's strangling it so that it doesn't make it to court. Oh, crumbling. That crumbled that day, long time ago. Long time. It crumbled the moment they arrested Muzi in 2018. That's when it started crumbling. Or oh, they arrest in 2020. Let's put it that way. Let's know how no, no. You know, I couldn't uh, pronounce this. In the, uh, I'll tell you how I used to pronounce it. Uh, so I went to, of course, as I said before, all white school. I was the only black kid. And then eventually the school started intaking more black boys. And so one of the boys, uh, you know how it would be like the school somewhere, somehow they assumed that because I'm black, I could, I could read and speak and, and all that stuff. People, uh, black people's surname, right? I could speak, of course, Zulu. But I couldn't read it, and I couldn't read, definitely I couldn't read Sisutu, Twana, and all the other languages outside. If I couldn't read Zulu, I couldn't read any other languages. However, so 
I was responsible in in uh, what do you call this? Not allocating, but taking the new pupils to the new classes that are located to them. So I would have a list of people. Oh, there's another one that is that will shock you. I know I'm always saying it, but then just you just show a little story time. And then I would read the name, and then the name of Little Honolo was I think it was number three, and this is how I called it. Le Ho 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 Lo No Lo. Tell me why everybody burst out laughing. Like died parents. They were like, what? <laughs> I think the shock was, but you're black, how come you can't read black names? They don't know my story. But anyways, that's the little story that um <laughs> that Lesha Honolo. Because I eventually learned it's Lesha Honolo. Anyways, Lesha Honolo says hello clients and the clan. Today's was just continuation of the dishonesty. And I saw Rata try to defend uh Baloy by uh, saying, Sarc are you being sarcastic? I don't know what he wanted to spark out of Advocate Tim Shololo, maybe an argument. But anyways, Advocate Tim Shololo is like, okay, they're honest then. You know, that's why at 11 p.m. they are able to send us this nonsense that they were sending. Then we have Annie who says that the state has no case. Advocate Tim Gomez Zulu just proved it today, uh, to us today. Yep, there isn't. Then we have Malaji who says Rata's court is a kangaroo court. Hey, I think it's beyond a kangaroo court at this point. You know, it's beyond that. Then we have Myra who says, H. Clancy's Uyibegile. Excellent analysis there. This morning was nothing but a total disgrace by Baloy, supported and protected by Rata. It was, however, beautiful to watch the defense coming out as a team and smart enough to knock them off. <laughs> yes, I did. I agree with you 100% there. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and then we have Sylvia who says, this case will drag forever. I don't think so. I think it has come to its end at some point. This baloy will keep on giving drips and drags of documents check next week or when they uh must consult they will still be short of documents i yeah you i i still believe that the section 205s that the defense has asked for doesn't exist they don't have it that is why they are bringing 205s of 2018 we want the ones that put the five men that stand accused of killing senzo Mewa on the 26th of october uh 2024 i mean 2014 that's what we're looking for not things that happen four years later. What does that got to do with this? What we are here for? No, I agree with you. They, they don't have it. They don't. Then we have Porsche who says, just laughed when Gomez Zulu said, this state and Kininda doesn't sleep. They work over time. <laughs> Then we have Dubsani who says, how dare you come to my son like that? Pat killed me. <laughs> it was a little bit of a performance there for me. <laughs> oh, and then we have Nelly who says, Mgome Zulu Yaba Exposer. Agaba Exposer. That's all that we want. Pasha says today, I give defense love. We all do. We all do beautiful work they've done there. I see my camera is flashing again. I don't know why I always forget to um to charge. Uh, we'll see how far we can go. Then we have Bundle who says, The part that frustrates me the most is that the defense made wonderful submissions. But what did they say? <laughs> Just okay. And now he's making it look like it's the defense's fault that they need some time to consult. Honestly speaking, like, how do you turn the tables on people valid that you just gave them the document? What do you, I don't know? You, is he, does he think that they are robots or something? I don't get it, honestly speaking. Then we have Mshoni Shua. Yeah, yeah. Defu was right. Cyril, Kosa, and those power structures. And I suspect 
what we saw today, especially with Rata being a judge, somewhere up there, somebody said something regarding what is going on right now, the door to door and they said, uh, whatever, you know, then we have Ntati who says, Harry Nell used to say we have the right people. So now the state is falling or is failing to prove it, uh, failing to prove its case beyond reasonable doubt. That indeed, these are the right people. They are not the right people. Herinel was completely wrong. I think he also just wants this whole thing to be over and done with. And probably he looked at these five men and said, yep, definitely it's them. And now he has an egg on his face too. Then we have George. I almost said George, but <laughs> then we have George who says, bravo, bravos to the clan test team and people who seek justice now. This old 52 years experience today, he was down to earth. Petition is dealing with the Madala now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, George. Then we have Norma Day. What's up, Norma Day? Did you hear the fast clicking of the judge's pen? It sounded like a more a Morse code. Oh, yeah. I did see your comment the other day. I was like, yeah, it does sound like a Morse code because it got to do with either lights. I could be wrong. It has something to do with lights as well as banging onto something. That you, If you are good with Morse code, you are able to read what is being said or communicated to you. Hmm. Interesting. And I would be so impressed to find out that Mohola, uh, Baloi, and some of the witnesses that took the stand, they can actually understand Morse code. I'll be very impressed. Then we have Oli M who says, judge is guilty. <laughs> judge is guilty and he undermined the defense so much. <laughs> now he is sitting on a hot seat. Well, let it burn. Let it burn. <laughs> I loved your opening sentence. That was hilarious. <laughs> then we have a user who says it is true that the judiciary is captured by that party. Yeah. Honestly speaking, I never thought those words would ever come out of my mouth because I thought the South African judiciary untouchable by outside forces that they were united and uh, they actually adhered to the principles of independence then we have a user saying baloy must bring all the dockets 375 here and that is trying to kill it <laughs> allegedly then we have a user who says it's just a delay tactic tactics and those 205 supposed to be explained or two or fives that's supposed to be explained by a cell phone specialist and not at the court because he don't know how those work yeah an expert is what is needed an expert is what is needed guys oh my phone is not ugh. oh guys my camera is flashing 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 now like vigorously let me quickly try and squeeze in four more and then i'll end then we have outclass tour Baloy is indeed being dishonest. He himself said the document required by the defense were included in the disc he sent to them last year. Yes, you're right. Yet he is unable to retrieve the same documents from the disc to give it to the defense or resend all the information contained in a disc in a USB format. Yes, it's like even Baloy himself is unable to open his own disc. Delay tactics. It's delay tactics, nothing else, as far as I'm concerned. Then we have uh, Milo, Milo Gololo, who says, The spirit of Senzo and of Senzo's father are fighting. They are helping the defense. Love, love, love. Let them fight. They got to fight for justice. Then we have Costco, who says, uh, Defense wants to shut this case by reputational sake states are already in life support <laughs> i see where you're going with this i see where you're going with this uh goodman says uh come monday we ain't seen nothing yet from the defense rata 
nonyana ba okay oh okay rata no nonyana wa bake must fall okay rata in his son must fall <laughs> and then we have uh two more that i'm gonna read and that's it then we have cc venda who says if they sent the email after 11 hours seems they themselves they don't sleep they are busy the whole night you mean the defense the defense was asked not to sleep <laughs> And then we have user, I think I can see, this is Mazibuko, even though, Derek Mazibuko, I think, I'm seeing with the scarf, but on this side it says user. Hi, Clancy's Rata is now deliberately misbehaving because he wants the public or the JP to remove him. Ooh, is that a strategy you think? He has realized that the state has no case and he doesn't want to disappoint his friend, Baloy. You could be onto something here, Derek. That is if this is Derek's account. And then the last one is I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. The last one is from uh, Landelwa, who says, I'm not sunking my thumb. Kubomgo. He really is not sunking his thumb. <laughs> the last, 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 last. Oh my gosh. Last, 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 last. Liani, who says, again, I must say the defense was absolutely heartwarming. Guys, if you like the video, give it a like. If you like the video, give it a like. Anyways, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Please, thank you so much to everybody that's super thanking the channel and supporting it financially. I highly appreciate you guys so very much. Please leave a comment down below so that your comment also can be read in the self-appointed expert comment segment. And also, share this video far and wide. I'll see you next time with a new video. Goodbye. Yes, I made it. Oh.